G'day everyone. So, the CR5M, the Australian Defence Force Combat Ration 5 Man. This thing is a serious unicorn when it comes to Aussie military rations. This may very well be the first CR5M review that there is on YouTube. There is only about three of these floating around the ration community that I'm aware of. This one here was kindly donated to me by Luke in South Australia. So, thanks heaps Luke. As a lot of you know, I've mentioned his name quite a few times on this channel because he supports it so much. What I'm going to be doing is after I review this, I'm going to be sending it back to him over there in South Australia so he can keep it for his collection because he's getting a really cool little collection going of military memorabilia. Now the CR5M is a ration designed to feed a team or crew of 3-5 to five people for 24 hours. Some uses for it are by tank crews, APC crews, vehicle convoys, remote watch posts, and temporary camps where there may be a small field kitchen, but these are used for added food if required, or meals for the troops that can't make it to the field kitchen due to operational requirements. Looking at the case on its own, it's very similar to that of its more famous counterpart, the CR1M case. But looking at the two side by side, it's a lot clearer the difference, and that is simply the size. Technically, it has half the contents of the CR1M case, but you'll see why it is bigger than half that size very soon. You can see that this actually has some black electrical tape around it holding it together, and that's simply because the bloke who originally sold this to Luke wanted to check out the contents before he got rid of it. And you know what, I can't blame him, I'd certainly want to do the same thing. The printing on the case is pretty much the same as that of the CR1M case. It has the food allergies information, the name and menu, this one, menu E, and even down to the weights. So the CR5M case is 13 kilos, and the CR1M case is 20 kilos. This case was packed on the 21st of December 2016. So let's open it up and see what we've got inside. So the first thing we've got is this CR5M menu list. So it's got all the information you can think of on there, just the same as the PR1M and the CR1M. And by the looks of it, there's only five different menus for the CR5M. Full list of all the contents, nutritional information, heaps of stuff on there. I'll get some photos and put that at the end of the video for you. And straight away, something that I think is a great touch is these four sealable plastic boxes. I think it's a great touch and really good idea if uh, maybe you're splitting it up between a few people. Everyone can just have a box themselves or maybe just a couple of boxes with some stuff in it in the vehicle next to the people who are inside just so they got something to munch on as well. Now up first we've got two of the mains and these here are 500 gram pouches of chicken and wild rice and we've got two of those right at the top. So the regular CR1M pouch is 250 grams. So technically it's only about four mains here. Next, two 500 gram packs of baked beans. A very popular main, which is in these Aussie ration packs, and that's the hearty beef stew. Once again, 500 gram packs. We have a 330 gram pack of rice, pretty solid in there. Well, something that only the CR5Ms have, and that's also vegetables inside. So this one here is a 250 gram pack of peas. Two hundred and fifty grams of carrots. And finally for our wet packs, 
a 250 gram pack of corn. Jeez, I tell you what, this thing's like digging through a treasure chest. <laughs> it's so cool. We have five breads. This stuff here is absolutely amazing to eat it. It's probably the freshest tasting thing out there that I've ever had when it comes to like a bread product in an MRE. Next, we have five packets of instant mashed potatoes. This here is another item which is absolutely fantastic and I haven't tasted anything as good as what this is in any other ration. Mash bud goes absolutely perfect with that beef stew. Looking down into the box now, you can see that we have four of these pretty decent size plastic containers here. And also, we've got two cardboard boxes at the bottom as well. And I'm running out of room on my table here, so I'm going to actually move the box out of the way, and we'll go through what's in the rest of this stuff. So in the first plastic container, let's have a look what's in there. See, It does have a nice lid, so you can actually seal it properly. Ha oh, score! Straight away, five of the 50 gram chocolate rations. One packet of me goring noodles. One fruit cake, 80 grams. Five yeast extracts or Vegemite. And the last thing, something I'm not that keen on to be honest with you, but it's been in these ration packs for absolutely donkey years, is the processed cheddar cheese. Big has only been doing it for a few years for the Aussie Defence Force, but we've had quite a few different brands over the years which have actually supplied the cheese. Inside the second plastic box, I think we found the rest of the noodles. One, two, three, and four of the me goring noodles. Two whole grain cereal bars with seeds including chia, and they're 35 grams each. And finally, another fruitcake. In the third box, we have got two packets of M&Ms. Another whole grain cereal bar. The last three fruit cakes. And what's this? Oh, five packets of the jam sandwiches. I think they may be a bit like uh, what the US and that call jammy dodgers. And the fourth and last plastic box has five packets of Mentos chewing gum. The last three packets of M&Ms. Couple of packets of tomato ketchup. Three rubber bands. Third packet of tomato ketchup. Ten tea bags.
10 packets of instant coffee, five packets of Tabasco, five packets each of salt and pepper, and an absolute ton of sugar. There are 20 packets of sugar in here. Now, let's check out these cardboard boxes and what's inside there. Five packets of loo roll or toilet paper. I'm not going to sugarcoat it, it's toilet paper, it's not a napkin. Five 85 gram tubes of condensed milk. Very, very popular. Five of the ADF spoons. These things are absolutely brilliant and so tough and strong. Really, really great quality. And very easy to eat with as well. Like, it's a great shape. Five Jack Link steak bars, and all of these are peppered steak. Um, there are some of the teriyaki flavoured ones floating around, but they're very, very hard to find. Two packets of matches. And that one there looks like it's actually had something spill on it. Don't know what that is, but um, it's more just a little bit oily. But... Yeah, it doesn't have any distinct smell of anything in particular or anything like that. Inside the matches that we have, you've got your normal plain matches, you've got a few of the windproof or waterproof ones, and a little bit of cotton down the bottom there, just to start the fire. And the last thing inside this box is five packets of sustagen. So that's actually taken over for like a chocolate drink or anything like that. And the main reason for this, extra calcium, vitamin D, high in protein. Um, a lot of the troops like to have their protein shakes and stuff like that. And just the plain chocolate powder wasn't cutting it. So they've gone onto this just so there's a little bit extra protein for them there. And the last box inside there is this one. Pack of creamy mushroom soup. Five orange flavored thought sports drinks powders. Something I've always said about these rations is that there's only like one of these per day where I definitely think the troops need more than just one sports drink. Especially where they're fighting at the moment over there in the desert. Really need to remain hydrated and keep the electrolytes up. Whole grain cereal bar with seeds again, the last of them. Five cans of diced peaches in syrup. Five 26 gram tubes of strawberry jam. Two green scouring pads with some soap put into it as well. Four more creamy mushroom soups. And finally, we have two Freds, or field ration eating devices.
So as you can see, there is an absolute ton of gear in this thing. And definitely, I think that this will keep those troops well fed for the 24 hours. Because a lot of these components are stuff that we have seen quite a few times in previous reviews, I'm not actually going to try eating any of it today. I just wanted this to be purely to show all of you what is inside of this. If you want me to actually crack into it and try some of this stuff out by tasting it, let me know, I'm more than happy to do that. Otherwise, I'll just leave it as it is and only show you this contents. Once again, another massive thank you to Luke for sending this one to me. Mate, super, super rare, really, really cool. And to everyone else, I really hope you enjoyed this review and seeing what was inside. If you did, please give it a like and also, if possible, hit the share button. I'm that close to getting 2,000 subscribers, it's not funny. So if you wanted to share it on some social media or on some of those sorts of pages where you think this would be a popular view, please feel free to do it. It would be really good to try and expand the channel and get more people seeing exactly what goes into these things especially a rare ration like this one. Thanks Eve, for watching everyone. See ya.